Hi everybody, um, I just want to get on and share a quick answer to prayer that happened in our home last week. Um, and we're just really grateful today and just wanted to encourage someone today. So uh, last week, our daughter, for those you don't know, Autumn, she took a really bad fall onto concrete pavement and hit her head. And it was very scary and we immediately brought her to the hospital. Um, but in the meantime, my parents had been at my house, at our house and um, my mom, I had Autumn in my arms and we just all prayed and my mom just began to pray for Autumn out loud and uh, Autumn was screaming at the time and as we prayed, a peace came down and Autumn stopped crying and my mom just looked at her and just whispered to her, it is well, it is well. And uh, you could just feel this peace come down and, uh, you know, when something like that happens, it's human nature to freak out and what could be wrong? Oh my gosh, you know, my one-year-old that just fell, you have all these thoughts going through your head and uh, such a peace just came down and uh, Nick and I took her to the hospital. We rushed her to the hospital and uh, in the car, she started screaming again and I don't know how to explain it to you, but this just peace came over me. And if anybody knows me, I'm usually one that really freaks out about things and usually like I just need someone to like calm me down. But this peace, overwhelming peace came over me and um, I just began to pray out loud. You can ask Nick, I prayed out loud and I just used my faith and I just began to say, thank you, Jesus, in advance. Thank you in advance for healing her. Thank you in advance for taking away what could be wrong. Thank you in advance for your protection. Thank you. I just began saying that out loud. I had so much faith in me. I can't explain it to you. And uh, Autumn stopped crying. And I just began to sing to her that song. Peace, peace, wonderful peace coming down from the Father above. Sweep over my spirit forever, I pray, in fathomless billows of love. And uh, that song is an old song, but it just came to me and such a peace came down in the back of that car and Autumn stopped crying and, you know, she was just looking at me and I just knew that everything was going to be okay. I just, I can't explain it to you, but I just knew I had such a peace. My worry and fear went away and, uh, we got to the hospital, uh, she got admitted and, uh, they examined her right away and, you know, took the time to check everything out and the doctors were, completely baffled. I explained the fall to them and they were like, nothing is wrong. There's not one broken bone. Her head is completely fine. Uh, by now there should have, because she hit her head, there should have been a ton of swelling, no swelling. The only thing she had was this tiny little like scratch right here that wasn't even that bad and a few bruises on where she fell. Um, they were completely baffled. They were like, there's nothing wrong. They kept her for like three to four hours. They wanted to check on her, you know, every so often just because she's little and just make sure that everything was okay. And every time they came in, they were just like amazed. She was walking around. She was talking. She was eating. She was being her normal, sassy, crazy self. Um, and they were just like, you know, they would come in and check her again, make sure everything was still good. And they were just completely, completely baffled that nothing for that type of fall, nothing was wrong. Absolutely nothing. And uh, later that night, they didn't even keep us that long, but they were able to let us go home. And the doctor warned me. He just wanted me to be aware that um, she would most likely have swelling in the morning and lots of bruises and not to be alarmed. Um, so, you know, I had that in my head. And uh, that night we went home and uh, she went to sleep. She slept the night perfectly fine. Um, that morning she woke up, she was back to her normal, happy self. And let me tell you, you would not even know that she fell. We looked at her, not one bruise. The bruises that were there were completely gone. And the scratch that was here was already like basically diminished. And I was just like, God, God did it. And even in the hospital, when the doctor kept saying to me, like they were baffled, I was just like, it was God. He protected her. And um, her doctor called me two days later just to check on her, um, wanted to know how she was doing. And I told her and he was like, does she have a lot of bruising from that? And I was like, no, you would, I told him, I was like, you wouldn't even knew, no, that she fell like nothing, not even like tiny little scratch. And it was already faded and you wouldn't even know. And she's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong. We've watched her for the past few days. She has been her normal self not in pain, even that next day, no pain at all. She was completely happy, you know, playing, having so much fun. And we're just so thankful today because the doctors told me it could have been so bad. 
so, so bad. With that type of fall hitting your head, it could have been really, really bad. But God took care of her. God watched over her. God had her hand, had his hand on her. And, you know, I'm so grateful that we serve God and, and told the pastor that every morning and every night we pray with Autumn. And every morning I pray over her. And she doesn't, you know, in my head, I'm like, she doesn't really know what I'm saying or doing, but, you know, I'm teaching her young to do that. And every morning I pray for a hedge of protection. I always pray that. That's one thing I always pray, God, keep us safe, watch over us, protect us. And I remember when I was a little girl, every morning when we went, before we went to school, my mom always prayed that same prayer. And now I do it with my daughter and I know that God took care of her. God covered her. God put his arms around her. And when she fell, he broke that fall. And I don't know what he did, but he he took care of her. And we just give God all the glory. We're so thankful. And a lot of you know Autumn's theme song for her life is, Your promise still stands. Great is thy faithfulness. And this is just another reminder of God's faithfulness. He took care of her. And not one thing is wrong. There could have been so many things wrong, but there isn't one thing wrong. And I want you to know today, have faith in God. Trust him. It's worth it. I'll tell you, when we were in the car, I could have been freaking out and I could have been saying, God, why did this happen? Why is, why is she going through this? Why did she get hurt? Not one ounce of that came to me. Instead, I thanked God in advance. I thanked him for the healing that he already did. I thanked him for taking care of her. And I promise you today, if you trust God and believe in him, he will answer your prayers. He will take care of you. He'll cover you with his wings. And we're so grateful today. We look at Autumn every day and it's just a reminder of his faithfulness. He didn't have to do it, but he took care of her. And today, just, just be reminded that if you pray and trust and believe and serve him, serve him with your whole heart. And I promise you, God will take care of you. And we're just so thankful. We just want to encourage someone today and share that good report. God bless you.